Eminem threw things back for everybody at the Super Bowl halftime show when he performed one of his biggest hits, Lose Yourself, and it was surrounded by everybody wearing gray hoodies, bringing it back to that film that we all know and love. Now, if you missed the Super Bowl halftime show, don't worry, we got you covered here on IO, and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. We got tons of videos coming your way covering the Super Bowl and halftime show in general, but we gotta talk about Eminem right now. Now, to start off, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not too sure what song Eminem started off with. I wanna say it was Godzilla, but I can't say for sure. I'm not sure if there were some audio issues, but definitely not hard of hearing, I just couldn't hear him too well. I know for sure when he started singing Lose Yourself, the crowd went absolutely wild. You had all those people in the gray hoodies, the dancers all around the platform, but it was pretty cool when Eminem came out and the building kind of collapsed or it looked like the walls were falling apart there. Obviously that was part of the set, or maybe there's a little mishap there that they didn't want us to know about. It was nice to see Eminem get together with some of his older peers, such as Dr. Dre, of course, Snoop Dogg, and what a surprise it was to see 50 Cent, but if you guys want to hear more about that, of course, we got a whole other video covering that right now. Now, of course, we also have to talk a little bit about Eminem taking that knee and, and kind of covering his head. I'm not too sure what was going on there. Let me know what you guys think was going through his mind at that time. But it was just so nice to see everyone get together. Of course, we want to hear your thoughts about the halftime show and everything that went down there. And let me know if you guys know what song Eminem started off with because like I said, it was kind of hard to hear what he was singing there. I don't know if that was an audio issue or if he was just, you know, doing his own thing there. But let me know what you guys thought about that whole performance and be sure to check out all of our other videos covering the Super Bowl and all the performances that are happening. Now, of course, I did also want to quickly comment on our last video talking about Drake's epic bet of $1.3 million. Well, it seems he may be losing half a million dollars now that Odell Beckham Jr. is injured. We'll see if he returns to the game, but if he doesn't, that could be a very costly injury for Drake. Make sure to subscribe to IO and stay up to date with all of our videos. I've been your boy, Jared Pepper Bronstein, and we'll catch you in the next one.